a massive Chinese finance dam in Cambodia has washed away the livelihoods of tens of thousands of villagers while falling short of promised energy production, Human Rights Watch said Tuesday. The 400 megawatt Lower Sesson II Dam in the Kingdom's Northeast has sparked controversy since long before its December 2018 launch. Fisheries experts had warned that damming the confluence of the Sesson and Srepok rivers, two major tributaries of the resource-rich Mekong River, would threaten fish stocks crucial to millions living along the Mekong's flood plains. Tens of thousands of the villagers living upstream and downstream have suffered steep losses to their incomes, HRW said in Tuesday's report citing interviews conducted over two years with some 60 people from various communities. John Sifton, Human Rights Watch's Asia Advocacy Director and the report's author said, Cambodian authorities need to urgently revisit this project compensation, resettlement and livelihood restoration methods. The government had pushed ahead with the project which involved resettling about 5,000 people in hopes of producing about one-sixth of Cambodia's annual electricity needs as promised by China Huanang Group, the builder. But production levels are likely far lower, amounting to only a third of those levels, according to the report. Government spokesman Fai Sifan defended the dam saying it provided the most positive impact and that the resettled villagers have new homes, farmland, and electric power. <laughs>